Oh no, it's so dark in here. I can't see anything. Yes, sweetheart. We can't see in the dark. Let me ask our friends. Guys, can you see us? Yeah! Oh, Ginny, they can't see us because it's dark. Oh, I have a torchlight in my hand. Let me throw some light on you. Guys, can you see him now? Yeah! Oh, Ginny, they can see me because of this light. Wow, finally, the electricity is back in the room. Now we can see everything. Hmm, yeah. So now we can see everything because of light. Yes, we can see things because of reflection of light. Reflection of light? What is that? Reflection is bouncing of light when it hits something. What? Does light bounce back when it hits things? Hmm. Hmm. Let me explain it in a simple way. Take the ball in your hand. Now hit this against the wall. Well, naturally it bounces back. Mm-hmm. So now did you get it? Yeah, light bounces back like the ball when it hits something. So when light hits something, it bounces back and the bounced light comes back into our eyes. Because of this bouncing back of light, we can see the things. Ah, that is why we need light to see anything. Yes, and this bouncing back of light is called reflection of light. Look here. Ah, yeah. Can you see that the light from the sun hits the tree and it gets reflected? And due to this reflected light, we can see the tree. Oh, I just remembered. We have to go to our swimming classes. Let's hurry, otherwise we'll be late. The water in the pool is so blue. And I know we can see it due to the light coming from the sun. And do you know? The rays that come from some source of light and fall on a thing are known as incidence rays. And the rays that bounce back after hitting an object are known as reflected rays. You are correct. I want to swim but I'm scared. I don't know how deep this pool is. Ah, uh, hold on. Let's use this stick to check the depth of the pool. Can you see that its length is bigger than you? Hmm. Let's put it in the pool. Okay. See? Half of the stick is outside. So you can go inside. It's not very deep. But look, Ginny. The stick looks bent. <laughs> yes, that is not bent. This looks bent due to refraction of light. Refraction? Oh, you told me about reflection. But... You never said anything about refraction. What is refraction? <laughs> you know, when light travels from one medium to another, it bends. Like when it moves from air to water, one medium to another? Yes, air is one type of medium and water is another type of medium. Hey, even your hand looks bent. Yes, and now you know that it seems bent due to refraction of light. But, but why does light refract? For that, you first need to enter the pool. <laughs> but why? Go on, young man. To learn something, you need to do something. Okay. This water is so cold. I want to come out. Okay, but before you come out, try... Oh, dog in here. I can't see anything. Yes. I can't run faster. This water is stopping me. Ah, darling. Now come out. Let's go home and learn more about refraction. Hmm. So, Jimmy, you could not run fast in water, correct? Yeah, I can run much faster otherwise. Hmm, let's see. Why could you not run fast in water? You know, water is more dense than air. You have to run against air while on ground. But your speed is less in water because the water is denser than air. So, same thing happens to the light. When it enters water from air, its speed becomes less and its direction changes. Let's do one more experiment to understand it more. Put 
this pencil in this glass of water. Wow, this also looks bent. But we know for the fact that pencil is actually not bent. It is refraction. Let's look at it in the details. See, the light reaching the eye is coming from a different direction. Yeah, because light changes its direction when it travels from air to water. Yes, it enters from one medium to another. So it changes direction due to difference in density of the two mediums. This is refraction. So guys, now you understand refraction. Now, time for some homework. It is easy. Okay, your homework is to take a pencil and put it in a glass of water. And remember that the bending of the pencil is due to refraction. And your second homework, my friend? Please press the like button below. Thank you. Bye.